I'm going to tab back to object view. Tab back to object view. I've got the whole armature selected. The name of my armature, by the way, for if 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 you if you are interested, is actually armature right there. Just for our purposes, I'm going to rename it skeleton so that we 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 can see its name real clearly. But so my armature is named skeleton now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my body, and I'm going to go add a modifier to the body. I'm going to say, hey, this body has an armature. Having added this armature, I now need to tell what armature it is. Well, the armature is the one we've been working on, the one that I just renamed Skeleton, right? Having done this, I'm also going to note that this armature only works with vertex groups, not envelopes. So, vertex groups should be the only thing selected, and we just leave this here. I know it's tempting to click Apply, but in fact, that will end in tears. We'll lose our armature. And if we go back up here, what I'm going to do is, with the body, select, with the body selected, I'm going to toggle into Edit Mode, and using the B key, I'm well, actually, first I'm going to use the A key, because I've got a bunch of vertices already selected, I'm going to deselect all my vertices with the A key, then I'm going to use the B key to draw a box around everything that's in the forearm like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that all these vertices are in a vertex group. In fact, if we look down here under Lincoln Materials for, 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 for this mesh right here, we see there's a vertex group section. I'm going to create a new vertex group that I'm going to name exactly the name of that bone, which you'll recall is forearm.r. So I'm going to say I'm going to have a new, new group like that. Let's name that. And all these vertices that are selected up above, I'm going to assign them to that vertex group. And now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to deselect everything in here, and then I'm going to select the vertices that make up the upper arm. And I'm actually going to overlap them a little bit. So there are going to be a couple right here at the elbow that are controlled by both bones. This is okay. In fact, this is probably better. It'll make it look more natural. So I've selected the upper arm here. So now I need to go back down and add them to a vertex group named upperarm.r. So I'm going to create that group, upperarm.r. And then I'm going to assign the vertices that I've got selected up there to that group. So now... This is, I haven't done all my bones or all my vertex groups here. I've just done this one right arm. But now, if I toggle back in here and s to object mode, and I did that with a tab, and select the armature, I now have an option of going to po whoops, pose mode. And with that selected, I can pick any bone and move it around. And the vertexes or vertices that are associated with that bone will be moved along with the bone. Okay? So, in fact, right here, if I were to rotate this upper arm, because we're using inverse kinematics, we see that the, the, the forearm went with it and everything deforms around that. This works great. In fact, if I go back to object mode, and select my mesh. One interesting thing that happens is I always have my mesh in its original shape, but if I go back to pose mode, well, I have to go through object mode and pick my armature, I will see it in its current shape. So these, the armature is applying a temporary deformation here. So what we're going to need to do to finish this out is we're going to need to finish naming all of our bones. We're going to need to name every single vertex group. We're going to have to assign every vertex on this body to a bone. And some of that gets a little bit tricky. For example, um, let me go into edit mode here, and I'm going to name my, name my thoracic Bo uh, bone right here. I'll call it thoracic spine, just to be clear. Thoracic spine. Okay, so I now need a vertex group to s associate with that. What I want to have associated with that, and I'm going to go back into object mode to select my mesh so I can uh, 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 apply this. I'm going to hit A to deselect everything. B, so I can select a zone of uh, vertices here, and this will select everything within this box. I want everything inside this box, all of this sort of chest and shoulder blade uh, level uh, vertices. You can see it over there on the side view as well. I want all of them 
all of them to be moved by the thoracic spine. So in fact, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down, I'm going to create a new vertex group, which I'm going to call thoracic spine, and I'm going to assign all of my selected vertices to it. What's going to happen right now, and you'll, you'll, you'll see this in a second when I, I'm going back into object mode, selecting the armature so I can go into pose mode, is if I grab the thoracic spine, all those vertices will move with it. Now, I, there's a lot of bones that I haven't assigned yet. So you can see that the left arm, for example, not doing anything because I haven't assigned any vertex groups to it yet. The other thing that I need to do is um, I need to tell the head and feet, which are separate objects, that they are also being modified by this armature. So I can actually go back to object mode, select the head, and just like the body, I'm going to add, an ar add a modifier to it. I'm going to add an armature. I'm going to use the same armature that I'm using on the body, the skeleton. And I, just like with the body, I'm going to use only vertex groups as, as, as the way I'm modifying this. Whoop. And in here, having said that, I'm going to go in to edit mode in this. And right now, I'm going to select every single vertex in the head. And I'm just going to add them all to a vertex group that I'm going to call head and assign it. So what do I need to do here? I need to take that top head bone, many people call it a skull, but we, we're not many people. And in the armature, I need to name that head. Right now it's bone 17. But if I name that head, that matches the vertex group that should be controlled by them. If I go back into my pose mode, I can now grab the head bone, and as I move it, the head moves with it, which is quite handy. So I need to go through and I need to name every vertex in all the objects. I need to as assign the armature as a modifier to everything that should be moved by the armature. And I need to name every bone in the, in the armature. This is a pretty painstaking process. It's pretty detail-oriented. One thing that you may find useful as you're doing this is to re remember that the four and six keys let you spin around your model as you're looking at it and get a good good look at it from every, every perspective. And of course, one gives us this front view, three is a side view, and um, we can turn on and off ortho orthogonals. Zero is the camera view that lets you see things in perspective. Um, with that, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope that you will enjoy building your armature.